Good evening, everyone. I'm Anna Rivera in for Kayla Moody. Many people see them asking for help, but few stop to help. This afternoon, a group of volunteers took to the streets, helping to feed the homeless and those in need. 11 at 11's Dennis Ting met with the volunteers earlier today, learning more about why they decided to lend a helping hand. Paper Bag Angels has been helping homeless people and those less fortunate for two years, giving them bag lunches. Today, a group of volunteers set up in the Phoenix Hill neighborhood, lending a hand to those in need of a meal, something so simple, yet so impactful. On the menu is what you'd expect for an autumn barbecue. We did 240 hot dogs, 130 pieces of chicken, eight pork butts, so roughly about 100 pounds right there. The guests, anyone who needs a meal. Now, there's a lot of us that don't have a lot of things, and we really respect what's going on today. Sunday afternoon's free luncheon came courtesy of volunteers with Paper Bag Angels, a nonprofit that began two years earlier. I was going through a little rough patch in my life, and. And, I, and God was like, we still got a job, a house, and a car. Get out here and help somebody. Tracy Starling heeded that call, deciding to help the homeless and those less fortunate than her. I took 100 bucks, and I went and got bologna, cheese, sack lunches, I mean paper bags and bottled water, and I came out here and I... I passed it out. That turned into Paper Bag Angels, which has been giving food and clothes to homeless people and those like Angela Turner, who just need a helping hand. I'm a paycheck to paycheck, and I was happy to know that I was going to get a good meal today. I get up and complain about getting up in some mornings going to work and I'm tired. I don't want to do it. You know, these guys could just, if they could just. Some of them just want to go to work. We just want to help somebody, and it keeps us balanced and focused and humble, you know, because we always want to say, poor me, poor me. At the end of the day, you get out here, and somebody is grateful for a sandwich, so it keeps you humble. A hot meal, something so simple that can often be taken for granted, but something so important that can make a big difference. Never know, because you never know what everybody's got, but they're trying to make it. It's nice to know that there are people out here that really care. Also gave out blankets looking ahead as temperatures start dropping. The volunteers say they will continue to come out and serve people regardless of the weather. And anyone looking to get involved can find the information on our website, whas11.com. Dennis Ting, 11 at 11.